I've been a recruiter for nearly five decades and I've handpicked some of the greatest players that ever played the game. Being brought up in footy with, you know, you know my dad's a Brownlow medalist. We sort of talked a lot of footy. Uh, he never stuck his nose in when I was playing footy, you know, as far as saying things against the coach or anything. When I played, I didn't ever shut up. I was a guy that was running around telling everybody else what to do. And I can remember even in primary school, I used to pick the team. I'd go home and I'd get my book out and I'd pick the primary school team. And I did that even when I played under 15s and under 17s and under 19s and I'd always pick the team. It was an obsession, picking teams and putting people in places. So I think that introduced me to the strengths that I had, yeah. In my time in recruiting, working at Richmond, Essendon and Collingwood, had the chance to recruit some outstanding players. Barry Rollings to Richmond, James Heard to Essendon and Dane Swan to Collingwood. Sheeds and I really wanted to take Longy. That was the only time in 16 years the board ever said anything to me. And they said, look, we know you want to take this young Aboriginal guy from the Northern Territory, but we feel you should take a bigger player. I think he went pick 23, for memory. And he got round and there was a couple of clubs to go. I think it was Geelong and maybe Footscray. And I said to Sheeds, we're going to get this kid, you know. And he said, oh, no, no, no. I said, we will, we'll get this bloke. So he got to us, I couldn't get the name out quick enough. I can remember Sheeds just slapping me on the back, saying, oh, I can't believe it. If you want to be an AFL player, the things I look for are good hands. If you've got good hands, make them better. Competitiveness, does he compete? Coachability, is he a listener? Can he play to instructions? Disposal, one of the most important skills. Can the player get the ball to a teammate by hand and foot? Feet, I like good feet. Finding the hole and being able to have the quickness of feet and the balance to go there. Speed, to me, a real priority. Where it sits has been upgraded as the game has changed. Marking, I really like players that can mark. Most of the great players have been good marks, some great marks even the small blokes. Endurance. As the modern game has evolved, all players have to have an elevated endurance. And decision making. It's right up there as a first rate requirement. We just get one love. Yes, I've made many mistakes, more than anybody else, because I've been in it longer. Life's full of making decisions, and the more wrong ones you get, the closer you get to making right ones. I think, I think a lot of it's to do with experience. The harder I practice, the luckier I get. <laughs>